Good day, this is Michael with Iconicist. Today we'll be doing 360 product photography displaying a wine bottle. Um, I've connected my camera via USB. I'm uh, working with a Canon Rebel T5 camera and uh, working with our medium USB turntable and one of our LumiPad 360 lighting setups. I'll explain a little bit more with my lighting what I've done in the back panel as I go. Uh, this is obviously a real-time preview of what your camera sees. As you can see, my hand going back and forth in front of the bottle. Um, so the first thing that we want to do here is we can see it's a little bit dark users do have full control over their camera settings so they can start to optimize their camera settings for the lighting environment so we're just changing our shutter speed our white balance ISO aperture to optimize the settings uh, what we're really looking to do uh, primarily is just optimize for maximum color accuracy we're not trying to overexpose to you know get a white background so let's go ahead and just take a picture here We'll hit snap. Uh, that's going to capture an image. And that's the result that we just captured. Looking at the bottle here, it looks uh, very good as far as our color accuracy. So I'm going to stick with these camera settings. These will be retained from shot to shot. Um, the last thing we're going to do is just ensure our focal point is correct. Um, so I've just zoomed in. And what I can actually do is, as you can see, everything coming back into focus. I'm just adjusting my focal point through mouse clicks. So I've set my focal point and that's going to be retained from shot to shot as well. Um, now we're going to go into the 360 area just up in the top right corner. Iconis' turntable shooting mode. And what we're going to do here is pre-rotate our turntable. Uh, you're going to see it starts a real-time preview. What we want to do here is visually ensure that we position our object in the center of the turntable. Uh, so we're visually watching to ensure that, uh, that our bottle is spinning on axis which looks like we've done a pretty good job so far. Uh, the next thing that we did, I don't know if you guys uh, saw, but basically we're just defining our pre-crop marker, meaning that this rectangle that I defined right here, it's only going to take a picture of what's inside this area. Uh, we don't need to capture the whole entire frame, and that's a benefit and, and certainly something that will save a lot of time and effort after the fact is being able to pre-crop your subject. So it looks like we've done pretty good with our pre-crop here. Um, and with positioning our object, so I'm just going to wait until we've completed one full 360 turn. Then I'll just hit my stop button when I'm ready for shooting at my first angle, which will be probably about right here. Okay, so that looks good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Uh, pardon me, the start button. Um, you can see up here I've selected 24 frames. You can shoot up to 72. We do have turntables that can shoot up to a lot more frames if required. Usually for e-commerce purposes, 24 is good. I will hit start and this will automate my workflow in a turn, stop, snap um, sequence. So as we capture an image, it's uploaded to our computer, as you can see the result there, high quality result captured. Um, and that's really just the standard workflow, turn, stop, snap, turn, stop, snap. Okay, so we're nearing completion of our 360. You can see the progress bar up in the top right corner it says 95%, which means we probably just have one more frame left. Um, so we just shot a total of 24 frames per 360. Let me just go and select all these images and just disregard that first image that we shot. We do have a vast image editing suite in which you can uh, users can make a lot of changes. First, we're going to inspect this with the RGB color value dropper. You look in the top uh, right here where the mouse is highlighted. You can see that value is 255, 255, 255, meaning that we've shot that instantly on a pure white background. Um, we do have a lot of features inside of here. You can make some color changes based on the temperature and tint. Um, you can increase sharpness for overall, um, overall, uh, you know, image enhancement. You can make a couple levels changes or curves changes. Um, users do have full control. The best thing that you can really do is just shoot at your maximum color accuracy. Um, just so you can get the, the best quality image. Um, again, if you ever made changes, you could actually hit apply to all. And in a batch process, it's going to take whatever editing changes we've made and apply to every single one of those images. So a very nice feature to be able to batch edit everything with a single click. Okay, now that we've done our batch editing here, we're going to go ahead and batch output these images. So I will call this Maybe it's a SKU number, dash, it'll name them sequentially 0, 1 through 24. We select our output location. We can choose to resize. Maybe I want all of these at, let's say, 2,000 pixels tall. Okay, so that's going to batch resize, batch rename directly to whatever folder I'd specified.
Now that we're done with our output, we'll go and take a look at the output folder and we can see all 24 images that we've output. Again, uh, 24 images, high quality results on pure white backgrounds. Um, our last step to create our 360 view will be to import these into the included 360 view creator application. Uh, what it's going to do is take all these images and create an interactive 360 product view in HTML5 format. Um, so we can take a look here and kind of see the result that we've output. We're just going to assume that all is good there. These are fully interactive. Um, so what users could do, maybe you want to include a, um, a zoom feature. Let's just, uh, you can include the master images for zoom and also include in the advanced settings, show the zoom button. Um, that's, that's always an option. So I'm just going to go ahead and output this and we'll view this 360 in a, uh, in a web browser here. So let's call this 360 wine bottle. I'll hit save. It's again saving to our wine folder. And we'll take a look at that output and let's open that in a uh, web browser here. And this interactive 360 output, that folder you can drop on your own server so you can have your own 360 product view hosted. Uh, we also do offer 360 image hosting services. Um, but basically you can see click and drag mouse control, user interactive, um, and uh, users can also customize the buttons down here as well and show stuff like a deep zoom. So uh, this whole process took us about, uh, about six minutes. Um, it's do it yourself, very easy, very fast, very efficient. Company name is Iconesis. I'll include more information in the video description below. Let us know if there's any questions. Thank you.